Hello guys, my name is Parag, as you know that, and I welcome back in my new video. In this video, I am going to teach you exactly the design of the main steel, which is uh, actually this is part number two of the cantilever, uh, um, sorry, cantilever slab. Okay, so in this video, I am going to teach you the design of the main steel, design of the distribution steel. Okay, uh, design of shear, design of check for deflection. These things I am going to teach you in this video. So let's start with the design of main steel. The AST what you have to determine you know the formula ast equals to 0.5 fck upon f5 1 minus 4.6 mu upon fck into b into d okay multiply by bd this formula you have right now after that you have to put the all the value over there and after putting the all the value you got one ast okay this ast what you get okay sorry this ast what you get okay then you you have to use this ast for spacing also okay now after that you get ast then you have to compare the check for the minimum steel what is the minimum steel for this so you have to take the 0.12 percentage of the bd it comes from the is456 okay from this is code it comes now so the main thing is that you have to put in this uh, in this diagram you can see it is a cantilever uh, cantilever uh, sorry uh, cantilever slab so that why it is in a such a manner okay okay one one side is 80 and another side is what 100 and 40 so in this lab what you have to take average of this both so b d d has the nothing but the average okay these both are the depth so 0 0.12 multiplied by b is a thousand multiplied by d is a 140 plus 80 divided by 2 so we got the 132 mm square which is a less than to 241 so this is what our required minimum this is what we have so we are going for this ast now according to that we are going to calculate the spacing spacing is we know that pi by 4 uh, pi by 4 diameter square multiplied by 1000 upon ast put all the value you get one spacing i made a roundup of them then spacing is for the main bar is given by 3 to d and also 300 so make it take the least value up from okay the least value from them you have to take so we get the value of the 200 okay so we have to also take this value so in this uh, main steel we in for main steel we are going to provide the 8 mm bar okay at the distance of 200 mm center to center after that same thing is for the distribution steel also in distribution steel we are providing the 6 mm diameter of a ap 250 bra bar so ast for a, this 0.15 percent of the b into d is coming from the is 4456 okay so according to that we are just putting all the value for d we take the average okay you can see over there okay then after that the spacing is also we calculate only the changes over here and here the five for the distribution steel the spacing is increased over there okay and also here also so according to that we also get the 170 we get 171 but we round off at 170 so we are going to provide a 6 mm diameter of the bar at the rate of 170 mm center to center distance now after that after doing all these things okay i did i just take all this value very fast because this is really very easy for by putting the value of the in formula you can simply calculate now further calculation for uh, um, is for the check for the share so here is my next step which is for the check for share check for share <coughs> in the check for share you have to first calculate to find the modification factor okay to find the modification factor okay which is called as the mf okay this modification factor is taken as first you have to determine the ast required okay the ast required is nothing but equals to what is the ast of the main steel okay okay so it is nothing but is taken as to be 241.8 mm square what we calculate then we have to determine what is the ast provided okay okay we have to determine this so it is it can be determined in such a manner that first you have to determine the spacing that is pi diameter square multiplied by thousand divided by um, divided by 4 into ast provided okay So along with that, pi multiplied by what is the diameter for the providing this uh, main bar is a 8 uh, square multiplied by 1000 divided by 4 multiply what is AST provided is uh, nothing but 251.3 okay uh, 
no 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 HD provider is different I sorry I don't know it comes in the next so we have to just write down the AST provided over there okay you have to just take AST provided okay so I already calculated the upstairs you just go and take it out there so value is coming I what I calculate is uh, coming as 251.3 okay so this value we what we have to provide it now we, then we have to calculate the FS okay so FS formula is given as 0. 58 fy multiply by ast required upon ast provided ast required upon ast provided okay so zero point you when you put all the value you get the it value is at 231.6 okay newton per mm square then after that you have to just do calculation for the percentage pt limiting is taken as a 100 okay multiply by ast provided ST provided divided by B multiplied by D so it is as the value of um, this taken as 0.2 percentage of the steel okay and uh, fifth stage is nothing but where the modification factor you can calculate okay it is taken as 1.8 so this is coming there is one formula with respect to that you can simply uh, this formula I listed I can uh, just give you this formula wait a minute this formula Okay, this formula is really very simple the modification formula okay uh, is uh, 1.7 for uh, 1.7 for this um, what can 1.7 1.7 for the one way slab and 1.8 for the uh, cantilever uh, counter cantilever slab okay so now after that uh, after that we have to determine this is what the check for share the step number one in check for share step number two that means b is nothing but determine the l by d actual ratio and l by d permissible ratio so l by d actual okay is nothing but whatever the one two double zero your length divided by 121 okay your value so we get 9.9.92 .9 and what is your let's see l by d permissible is nothing but a 7 multiply of modification factor so we get the value is as of 12.6 so the relation between l by d of l by d permi actual upon permissible what is the relation here the l by d permissible is great so here always your design in share is safe okay you are always l by d ratio in actual is uh, less than l by d is permissible so then and only then your design get shape in a share okay so now we go for a uh, next uh, calculation for um, calculation for the development length okay so in development length calculation development length length calculation okay so in development length calculation the formula of the development length is given by 0 0.87 fy okay multiply by phi divided by 4 into tau of bd okay tau of b multiply by d so the value we have to put it is 0 0.87 multiply by f phi is 415 multiply by 8 divided by 4 into 1.6 multiply by 1.2 the value we got is uh, 371.6 sorry 376.1 mm mm the when we under um, ground up is it taken as 380 mm okay so development length we got is a uh, ld equals to 380 so now after that in this video i'm going to uh, show you what exactly the uh, what exactly the um, uh, the reinforcement detailing also okay so up to this development length we did we completed with our the numerical okay so now i am going to teach you what exactly the reinforcement detailing okay so for that you have to just uh, take some um, value okay so first i have to erase all these things wait a minute i'll correct it within one minute okay so now uh, with respect to that okay with respect to of the all these things i am going to draw the reinforcement detailing okay so reinforcement detailing such a manner so this value okay this is d okay so this d i just draw over there okay it is what i get it as a 140 okay 140 mm 
okay i assume it it as a atm okay so the what the reinforcement i got which is distribution steel i wanted to provide it okay is the first i just provide the main steel okay so main steel is in a such a manner my handwriting is not so good wait a minute i'll just use any sort of the shapes also there okay so up to here okay and uh, also not only there it also take it as like this from here to come in here okay then uh, okay and such as that okay so after that <coughs> this is what the main steel we got this is what called as a main steel at the last we determine the development length the development is nothing but from this point okay to this and up to this point so this is from up to this to this is called as a development length okay this is called as a ld and this ld is nothing but is 380 mm okay so this is development then what from here to his this point okay now this is what the main bar okay the what the main bar we main still we provided is nothing but 8 mm dia okay at the rate of at uh, sorry not <laughs> at uh, uh, at the rate of 200 mm center to center okay now after that i am going to use a different color where we can show the main uh, distribution bar okay so these are what the distribution bar okay let's just use this just make this it make it as a curve also okay so these are wo, all are the what distribution bar okay and this distribution bar are um, uh, taken as a 66 mm dia okay at the rate of uh, 170 mm center to center okay and this is what distribution bar so in that way you can this is what the reinforcement detailing of the uh, cantilever slab okay so Uh, this is really very really easy example okay this is the cantilever balcony slab i show you properly okay so this is really very really simple and with the with respect to my video please like and share okay and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and just visit my website which is listed on the above top layers okay and thank you for watching my tutorial keep watching keep learning bye bye thank you